But am I saying it? <laughs> <laughs> Today yeah. I played Founders Fortune. Oh. I played this as well. I saw you bought it. Yeah. I thought this is. a see so you play like two hours or something or three. I recorded that. two hours of it. Yeah. I bought it. I had a little go. Yeah. I had like four guys like Abby, Charlotte, Ben. It's like Rimworld. Happy. It is like Rimworld. Yeah. It's, in some ways, it's actually better than RimWorld. I like some mm. of the things, like, for example, in it order looks to... It looks good. Much and in order better. to equip gear on people, they have to have, like, That's stuff in their, in their room. <laughs> yeah. No, so I like... Because I built them all a little room, mm. and I thought, oh, it's just going to be like RimWorld, but all they need is really so a bed. I, I built my guys a, a house each. A whole house a each. A whole house each. And then, like, they've just slowly filled up with stuff. Because you, and need, then I had to you need to have an armor stand, stand and a weapon stand and a tool stand <laughs> and, and all built, these things in order for them to have I their built one guy equipment. a massive mansion and then everyone else got really upset because they were jealous of his mansion. Really? Yeah. Did it? What did it have in it? Like a everything? Like a golden fireplace bathtub. and a couch and holy crap! Oh, it was good. That was quick progress. I played it for about two hours and I was still kind of struggling to like build like basic stuff. I was quite slow to get started. Really? Yeah. Did yeah. you kill the goblins? The goblins, the tiki goblins, and they're annoying. it's very much, very much inspired by RimWorld, mm. and I think we're going to see more types of games. Uh, like this week, I've been playing a bunch of games, and it feels like all I'm playing is famous games remade, remade, but yeah, but slightly, better. slightly worse and or or, or different. Yeah. Um, but no, I think actually it's worth a look. It's not going to, and it's not as expansive as RimWorld is. Nowhere um, near. No, it's much simpler. Yeah, and but I kind of like that because I get a bit overwhelmed when I play RimWorld in the late game. I, I like I like these types of game where you're confronted with like uh, open world and you have to cut the mm. trees down, mine the stone, do do get everything collected, and there's it's not tedious in the sense that there's not stockpiles of stuff to, to manage. No, it's it's, it's just there's... in your inventory and you don't have to store it anywhere. Or... People seem to get on with doing stuff yeah. most of the time. There's no like priority queue though, so you can't really like kind of tell them what to do when when you can't like program yeah. them in a way sometimes you'll be like where's charlotte gone yeah. and you'll find that she's collecting cotton from yeah, like literally and, and, the other side of the of world like planting potatoes which you needed to do and and so, well i told them to bury a goblin that attacked us and they decided to take it to the back to the goblin village and then got killed by the goblins <laughs> yeah so weird. there's a few <laughs> little bits that don't work but yes duncan Founders? Founders Fortune. Founders Fortune. It's on Steam. Recommend. It's actually pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs>